there's a covenant eagle. There's an eagle cry. There's an eagle cry, and he's calling, he's calling, he's calling, he's calling. I see it again. He's calling, he's calling you up, 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 up. He's calling you up, 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 up above the storm. He's calling you up, 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 up above the clouds. He's calling you up, 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 up. And God himself wants to give you eagle eyes. He wants to change the way you look at things. And he gave me this prophetic word for America. And I hear it even now over this school. How? And I hear him say, your destiny is not to be a chicken. Your destiny is to be an eagle. And I want to call you up. I want to call you up to higher ground where you can see above the dust, above the storm, above the swirl. And I want to call you to see where I'm moving on the earth, says the Lord. And I want to call you to have wings that soar. You're not called to be a chicken that hops around with a little flight once in a while. You're called to soar. You're called to soar on the wings of my spirit. You're called to rise up on eagle's wings, to run and not be weary, to walk and not faint. And I want to take your eyes and I want to lift them up, says the Lord. And I want to give you the kind of vision that an eagle has. And I want to give you power over serpents, says the Lord. You'll be able to dive down like an eagle. And if you would understand how an eagle flies, I'm going to call you to be able to be snake killers. You're going to be able to go straight down, grab the serpent, go straight up, and you'll fly so high that you'll suffocate the enemy. Because in the heights, in the heights of my spirit, the enemy has no power, no breath, no air. And I want to take you to higher ground, says the Lord. I want to take you to a place of fearless love. And though it'll be the scariest thing, the very scariest thing in your life, I'm calling you to fearlessness. <laughs> and I'm going to push you, literally push you out of the nest. I'm going to push you out of the nest because you're not meant to be nesters. You're meant to soar. You're meant to see, you're meant to soar, you're meant to go. And I want to put my spirit upon you, even now. And I'm going to put my destiny in you. And I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you to a place where you warn, even warn those who are chirping with no heads. I'm going to call you to a place where you would warn, even warn those who are running around the yard with no heads. I'm the head, says the Lord. I'm the head. I'm your head. You're not meant to be headless chickens who don't even know when they're running with no head. You're meant to soar like eagles. You're meant to see with eyes, with eyes that are clear and eyes that are bright and eyes that are full of hope and eyes that know how to defeat the enemy and eyes that know how to see what I'm doing and where I'm doing it. And I'm going to take you to a place of fearlessness, to a place of growth to a place of strength, to a place of might, to a place of glory. And you're going to soar so high. And you're going to call others to soar with me, with me, with me. For it is by my spirit, says the Lord, that you will soar up higher than you've ever been. And there in that place, you will learn to soar without flapping. You'll learn to soar without flapping, without sweat because it will be by my spirit.
are here to receive from you today. Through in your life through prayer and fasting. And so now I want to see Vision Television Network all over Asia, including Pakistan. <laughs> 